Hey guys, hope everybody's having an excellent morning today. I know I am, I always do on the farm. Let me just give you a little bit of a backstory as to what's going on with me building this new cabin slash workshop. Now we bought this property a little over three years now and this building was being used by the previous owner as a little workshop. So I just took it over and transformed it into a little workshop. You know, it was hot in there. I added fans, I put shelving, I put wall control for my tools. I got a toolbox, I got a work table. It's like it was all working out nice and cool. So the very next day after we lost my beloved Stormy, I started building this catio. It's protected. Coyotes can't get in here. No predator can get in here. It's nice and airy for the cats. They got a hangout space in case it's storming out. They got a hangout space in case it's winter and they're not really going far distances on the farm. And I'd like to think that they enjoy their life in the catio. You know, they have jumps, climbing apparatuses, you know, some logs that I put in here, a hammock. And I mean, I see them having some fun in here. So that's a good thing, right? And then for the winter, I put a little cat door into the side of the workshop so that they can go inside. They have a couple of heated cat tents in here. They have, you know, heated water bowls. I keep all their food in here. But now the trouble that I face on a daily basis is that these cats have pretty much taken over my little workshop here. There's cat hair everywhere. If I stay in here longer than like 40 minutes, I start to get the asthma starting up, you know, because I am allergic to these cats. Although my allergies are less since I've been more exposed to the cats. It's like my body is adapting to them. But I got all my junk in these Rubbermaid totes because they just ruin everything. They knock everything off the wall. They climb up to the rafters and you can see that it's just an utter disaster area. I need my own space and I'm sick and tired of sharing my own personal space with the cats. Let's head down to the drive shed and I'll show you what I've done so far. I've been working on it for many weeks now. So I got the flooring done, got the whole foundation and the base done, but let me take you back and explain how I got to this point, okay? It all starts with getting the foundation ready to go. Of course, I did a little bit of leveling and whatnot with my tractor ahead of time. I used an auger that I have to make these holes and the rest is just putting in a bunch of piers, mixing cement, putting in piers, mixing cement. And it was a couple of weeks of doing that over and over again to get it to where I can start building the floor. As you can see, I'm building these piers. They're all 48 inches deep. Our frost line here in our area of Ontario is approximately 39, 40, 42. So just to be safe, to make sure it has a solid foundation, I went 48 inches, which is four feet. And it's handy anyway, because these sono tubes, these foundation tubes, they come in four foot pieces anyhow. So they go all the way down four feet and they take about five six bags of concrete and of course i have no water down here so i'm just using the tractor bucket to bring my water down and it's okay it's doing the job it's not really a great time of year to be doing this but i'd like to get it all closed in and dried in before the winter i can finish some of the interior finishes over the winter but i need to get out of that cat house
So there you go. Now you've seen how I've done the cement piers and how I made the floor joists and how I put the boards underneath so that the insulation won't fall through and it'll keep the critters out and how I put the insulation in and the vapor barrier on top and then the plywood on top of that. So that's where we are now. We can get started doing the walls.
Okay, folks, that's enough today. <laughs> Sun's going down way beyond yonder. I got a lot of work done today, a lot. I got the front wall on. I got the side walls on. I got all of the back wall on today. And I got half of this side wall. It's a, a little bit of a challenge to figure out these walls right here because it's not going to be at the same height as that. It's kind of an angle going up. So I got to calculate that and it's too late to start doing that today. I think the way I'm going to structure this because from one end to the other, it's 26 feet. Right here where I'm standing, there has to be one column that's going to hold up the beam that goes across here because I can't have a 26 foot beam. <laughs> it doesn't even exist. You'd have to special order it. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, I think. This is going to be a good space for me. Get away from the cat house. And it's pretty large, I'd say. I'll be able to put my tool cabinets. I'll be able to put all my farm jackets and sweaters and stuff and all my boots. And I'll be able to get all that stuff out of the cat house. We're having a real nice bout of nice weather here. I don't know, I think it's like 14 days with no rain. So I'm really busting my hump working long hours to get the flooring done and the wall started. I have a delivery coming with the wood that I need for the roof trusses and the plywood on top. <laughs> and then I got to put some kind of a roof covers. I'll probably use shingles because I have a boatload of shingles left and then I'll only have to buy a little bit. So I'll probably do that and it'll look nice with the black. Yeah, I need to get it closed in. I got the Tyvek wrap already because when you're building a structure like this, if it does rain, it's going to soak the subfloor. And that's why I put tape on the joints in case it does rain. Hopefully the water doesn't soak through the cracks down to the plastic down below and then it'll just be wet. It'll be a mess. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you're going to enjoy this little build. Probably a couple more weeks to get it to the point where I have enough content to make a full video on it. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll still be doing the farm vlogs in between. Yeah. Gonna be awesome. You guys take care, okay?